Today is hashtag new to me and I have an exciting new to me and a product to show you. Stay tuned. Welcome to Mrs. Peach Thrifty Living. I'm so happy you're here today. Today is a special video that I wanted to make and tell you I've reached 1,000 subscribers. I'm sitting here in front of my piano. I've done a lot of videos playing this piano and my brother has came over and played this piano. Actually, one of the videos that he did got 11,000 views on it. That's really my highest view count in one video, which made me very happy. And I have made 408 videos this year. Half of them probably, I don't have the exact count, but half of it is as shorts. I've, I really like doing shorts also. They're easy to make and um, quick to the point and hopefully people enjoy them. I know I like to watch shorts, so I'm hoping somebody else does too. And the videos I make, there's all different kinds. If you look back at my, back at my information, I opened my account in 2009, but I never even thought about doing any videos at that time. It was just, for, then you can, you can um, comment on people's, um, subscribe to it. So whenever I decided 2022 October, that's almost, well, it's 11 months ago. First video was cleaning high without getting on a ladder. I was thinking, and I, you know, all my whole life, I've lived a, a life of, of saving money, being careful with what I spend, if I can, going to thrift stores, um, all kinds of things. I started with the name Mrs. Peach Thrifty Hacks, but after I started it, I got to thinking, it's not just hacks. It's all kinds of things in my life, like my living. Let's say if you have a piano and the electricity goes off, you can sit down and play your piano or any other little instrument that's not hooked up to electricity. You need to have some books in your, your uh, library and a cookbook too, just in case sometime. Okay, back to my story. <laughs> I'm easy to get distracted, you see. So I continued with my videos. I made salads in a jar and did so many others. And you can look at my playlist. And if you don't know how to look in the playlist, you can go um, to the main page. You will see under the video, you can see latest, most popular, or oldest. So if you want to see where somebody started, you can go to the oldest. And then it sh starts showing their videos from the oldest. And I think that's kind of interesting sometimes to see where somebody came from. Also, I um, went ahead and um, made a playlist because I have more than just one, one subject. I have cooking, I have crafts, I have grocery hauls, and I made one with uh, the cooking as anything with food. But, so you can, you can make those videos and uh, label them as you would like. And then I have one just for my shorts. So you're welcome and you, you can, not just my channel, but anybody else's, you can go and look at and see how their channel um, is set up that way. thought I would just add a little bit here showing some of the, the snapshots of some of my videos that I've done. And I thought maybe you might find it interesting. Sometimes a person don't go and look at all these but you can kind of get an idea of where I've been. Also, um, then the next little set here is some uh, shorts that I've done, just a, a few of those. And um, I hope you will enjoy this. And then I'm back to what I was talking when I about. I started my channel. You know, I didn't know a lot about it. My daughter, many years ago, she had said, Mom, you need to have a YouTube channel. She doesn't even remember saying that to me. And then a few years later, my son, my young son, decided to have a YouTube channel and he was doing quite well. 
and he knew a lot about it. He just learned a lot about it. And after my husband passed away in August 2022, I was kind of lost. I miss my husband every day. I love him with all my heart. I knew he went to be with Jesus. That was a big comfort to me. But I needed something. And my son just encouraged me. Mom, start a YouTube channel. You could do as good as whatever, you know, whatever I'd be watching because I watched a lot of YouTube uh, channels at that time. And I still do. There's so many favorite ones. Actually, I talked to Sandra Brown today and we had a wonderful conversation. She is doing awesome with her channel. Uh, I think it's, uh, but anyway, Sandra Brown and I'll, I'll write it down on the screen. I did my first video cleaning my, my kitchen without getting on the cleaning high without getting on the ladder and I did pretty well with that one and then I did one with making salad in a jar you can make several of them and put them away and and then you've got them made and you don't have to uh, cook that day or get a salad out you just grab your jar and turn it upside down and you got a delicious salad so all kinds of uh, hints and I've got them all in a playlist I think I'm going all over the board today on this video. So I hope I can edit it where you can make sense of what I'm saying. I wanted to thank everyone that has watched my videos. Thank you so very much for being there for me. For the ones that comment, I really, really appreciate that. Also, just that press that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe too, because, um, I will probably never get, I've reached the first goal, a thousand, but you have to have 4,000 watch time hours. I have 1,900 watch time hours. I just want to thank you, everyone that has been here for, for uh, to watch. Even if you didn't comment, you know, that view counts. I, I appreciate it so much. I pray God blesses you. You know, I'm a Christian. I love Jesus. My whole heart's desire is to serve him and be a light. I want somebody when they watch my video to go away feeling good. I don't want to ever go on there and make you feel like, oh, I would watch that. That made me feel worse. Now today, and I'm waiting to the end. I probably should have said it at the beginning. It's called new to me. I probably uh, write it in or insert it in the beginning. But today is new to me hashtag new to me and um i will put who it's hosted by on here and you can put anything new to you well new to me is reaching a thousand and i want to show you one product that i got i've used one package of that up already i got it at trader joe's we don't have one real close to us so i rarely go i was with my daughter-in-law at the time and i got it and i want to show it to you because if you go there and they have it you might want to try it let me show you okay here it is it's bulgur pilaf butternut squash and feta cheese it was um 14 ounce i think it was two dollars at the time of course you know, they don't always have everything at the time. You see, it's 3.5 servings. They say one cup. I think it made me four different, I mean, like side dishes. You, uh, you know, it, it was really filling. And um, 200 calories. And let's see how many. That's 10 fat gram. That's kind of high on that. But um, then sodium, you can see that. Dietary fiber, not too much. And let's see, protein is six. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. Um, if you like this, if you think you know somebody that would enjoy what I do, be sure and share it. Tell somebody. Once in a while, I'll see something I really like of somebody else's, and I'll send them a note and tell them or send them a little link to it. And you can do the same if you don't feel comfortable sharing it on your Facebook page or sharing it wherever. I just want you to know I appreciate you. And I pray God just blesses you today. Come join me every time. And I'll see you next time.
Thank you, Kimmy's Kitchen and more for hosting Hashtag New to Me. Everybody come back, check and see what everyone else is doing, and God bless.